This video will show you how to improve your rock steps in swing dancing and lindy hop. I'm Lainey. I'm here to show you some skills and techniques that I really like to use so that my rock steps are useful, they are dynamic, and they are actually something that helps me change direction with my partners. We're going to use some tools today. These are called resistance bands. These are the long versions in various different amounts of resistance. If you don't have these bands, there's a link in the description below of my favorite kinds. However, you don't need these to do this exercise. They're just very useful so you can improve your skills. A good rock step comes from a nice bend in our knees and our butt sticking back and our back still nice and straight with good posture. I'll demonstrate this on the left foot and the right foot and I'll do it on the other side with both feet as well. So ultimately, I want to think of this as a two beat step. I have my one, two, one, two, one, two. Most importantly, your back foot, your heel never touches the floor. If I let my heel touch, I've overcommitted my weight to the rock step. Also known as a back rock or a step back or a one, two. <laughs> Same thing on the left foot. I would never overcommit that back foot. Couple things about my rock step is I want to make sure that I'm pushing my belly button backwards. It's almost like my hips make a little rainbow shape as my belly button swings back. What is rocking? My hips are rocking. Not my feet, not my shoulders. My hips are rocking back. And on the left, my hips rock back. Same thing on the other side, left foot, my hips rock back or on the right, they rock back. I like to practice it with my arms uh, moving in opposition as if I was holding on to my partner. If I was on the right foot, I'd have my right hand connected as a follower. And if I was left, I'd have my left hand connected as a leader, have my rock back. Notice I'm not moving anywhere. I stay where I am rather than traveling backwards or moving forwards. Those are different types of rock steps for different movements. Right now we're just looking at the type of rock step that we would use in a very basic movement such as a right side pass or a very basic swing out. Where is my power coming from in this rock step? It's from my front foot. So I'm actually taking my front foot and pushing off of it to pull my body back rather than tipping and falling backwards. I'm pushing myself back. So my power is not actually in my back leg as much as it's in the front leg, pushing back. Or on the other foot, pushing back. So often the most common mistake we see as teachers is students taking this front foot and literally rolling off of that foot. Rather, I like to think of picking up the leg to practice good technique of pushing off of that. And then I never tipping backwards or rocking back on my feet. The word rock step is a bit misleading since it's not actually our feet that are rocking. So showing that on the other side of pushing back, pushing back instead of rolling back. So I'm pushing back and lifting that front leg. When I social dance, I'm not really picking up this front leg as much, but it does make a great way to practice my skills. So we have a couple things we're always focusing on, which is taking our belly button back, we are pushing off that front leg. We keep this bounce going in our bodies. And I make sure my back heel doesn't touch the ground. Now we can take these resistance bands and do some simple exercises with an anchor point. I have tied two knots. There's two different bands to show you different exercises. This is a very high resistance band. And this band has a lot more ability to stretch. Now, this is my longer band, the ability to stretch. The one with high resistance is much shorter, doesn't need to be very long. I've tied a knot in both of them so I can close them into a door as an anchor point. You can also just tie them around a heavy object. Now that I've anchored these into a door, and make sure the door can lock or latch so it doesn't accidentally open up on you, I'm going to show the example with the high resistance band first. 
So our high resistance band, I'll show this on the right side and the left side, and I'm just gonna hold on to it like I have my partner, and I should have the band start where there's no stretch. There's no stretch in the band to start, and then when I rock step, we'll see a little bit of stretch. Just a little bit of stretch in that. Rock step, and rock step. And if I do wanna practice these in a row, I typically just add a bounce in the middle, I don't do rock, step, step. That's a bad habit because often a rock step is followed by a triple step. So I would think rock, step, bounce, bounce. Rock, step, bounce, bounce. Rock, step, bounce, bounce. And I'm really letting the band pull away with my belly button. Here it is on the other side, nice and loose. Rock, step, bounce, bounce. Rock, step, bounce, bounce. Rock, step, bounce, bounce. And I'm opening up my chest just a little bit to the corner for the 45 degree angle because that's more comfortable for my shoulders. If you want more information on posture, I have a video on our shoulders and how to move um, more efficiently in our connection. So check that out, it's linked above. Next, I'm gonna show you how to use the less resistance band. This one is where it gets strange because I'm gonna tie myself into the bands. Now that I've tied myself into the bands, I'm letting this rest around my belly button height because this is giving me a very concrete place to feel where I want my maximum stretch, which is actually in the center of my body. So the center of my body is pulling backwards so I can feel this is where my stretch is happening. I can feel that I'm creating a stretch because this band is moving a little bit more rather than staying in place completely and nothing happening. I'm actually adding a little more stretch or tension to this resistance band as I'm stepping. So stepping into the band is a whole different feeling. If you don't have one long enough to do this, that's okay. I like the exercise where I'm holding on to the single band best and that's the one that will help you the most. So if you want more information on how to swing dance, lindy hop, blah, 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 all sorts of different bite-sized information, subscribe below, and I'm Lainey.